an archer draws his bowstring back to position X. The bowstring and arrow are shown. The tension in the string is also shown. Then he draws the bowstring back further to position Y. The resultant on the arrow is greater when the arrow is released from position Y. What is the increase in force? All right, let's first understand the diagram given to us. We have a bowstring. What does a bowstring look like? Something like this, right? This is the arrow and these are the strings. The arrow is initially pulled back to the strings and then it's released and it goes in the forward direction. So this is what's drawn over here. These are the arrows shown and these are the strings shown. So the question says that initially the strings are pulled back to position X. Then later the string is further pulled back to position Y. And the resultant force on the arrow is greater in this case. There is a resultant force on the arrow in the forward direction, of course, and it's greater in the case when you pull the string back to position Y. The question is asking how much greater is it? Like what's the increase in the force? So what we'll do is we will first find the resultant force in the first case, then we'll find the resultant force in the second case, and then we'll subtract them to see what is the increase in force. So let's find the resultant forces in both the cases, starting with the first case. Okay, for that, we need to resolve the tension into its components. The vertical component and the horizontal component. Similarly, for down below the vertical component and the horizontal component. Now, we won't be considering the vertical components. That's because we are considering the resultant force of the arrow in the forward direction, in the horizontal direction. So no need to consider the vertical components in this case. So let me get rid of these vertical components to make the question easier. Now let's focus on the horizontal components and I can write them as T e cosine 65, T e cosine 65. Now in the first case, the resultant force should be T cosine 65 plus T cosine 65, right? The arrow is moving in the forward direction. So the resultant on it is because of these two tension components. That's why I wrote it as the resultant force is equal to T cosine 65 plus T cosine 65. Let's solve that and putting in the value of the T tension, which is 100. So basically 100 cosine 65 plus 100 cosine 65. If you solve this, you will get 84.5 Newton. So this is the resultant force when the archer the bowstring is pulled back to position X. Now let's do the calculation for the second case. Very similarly, same method, resolve the tension into its two horizontal components. And these two horizontal components would be T cosine 55, T cosine 55. So the resultant force in this case would be T cosine 55 plus T cosine 55, putting in the value of the tension, which is 120. 
So 120 cosine 55 plus 120 cosine 55 is equal to 137.6 Newton. So this is the resultant force when the bowstring is pulled back to position Y. These are your two resultant forces. Now you need to find the increase in the two forces. Simply subtract them. 137.6 minus 84.5 gives us 53.1. And you can round it off to 53, which gives us option D. That's our answer.